This is the new Kia EV9, and the brief is simple. To be the ultimate big family car, electric or otherwise. That's a pretty high bar to aim for, and a couple of years ago, we might not have taken Kia's chances of reaching it very seriously. But that was before the EV6 came along and completely shifted our ideas of what the Kia brand is capable of. Our expectations for EV9 were extremely high, and on the strength of what we've seen, they were right to be. This car really looks like being one of, if not the ultimate big family cars, thanks to a striking design, immense practicality, and some of the coolest seats we've ever seen. Seven of them. To tell you more, here's our Korea correspondent, DK Kim. This is the Kia EV9, and this is the Fully Charged Show. Like the Fully Charged Show? Then you will love our live shows being held around the world in 2023. Up next, we're back in the UK with Fully Charged Live UK South this April and Fully Charged Live UK North in May. I mean, just look at the face of the car. This is the tiger face at its finest. From the tiger nose and tiger face, now we get this star map light with the lights up on the front that will light up here, but has composed and completed the digital tiger mask and this is the active air flap that opens and closes accordingly just like the one that we have seen on ev6 and we see some vertical patterns here too so radars and sensors for hda and so on and over here has the concave shape on the front that actually is connected with the overall hood and the bonnet of the car as well if you come over here this portion is actually a little bit bent on the hood as you can see and that is to correlate and go together with the drl and just so you know the headlights are lighting up right here and over here too and this is the uh, prototype so we don't know the exact operations of the lights yet but this is the final version that we will see on production models as well and of course the car itself is just massive it's even i think it's even taller than me and i'm 176 centimeters tall at 4.9 meters long, just over 2 meters wide and almost 1.8 meters high, the EV9 is a beast. Normally, we're a little allergic to huge EVs at fully charged, but given the amount of space the EV9 provides inside, we're tempted to forgive on this occasion. So let's go to the profile of the car. As you can see, this Y shape is what stands out the most from EV9. And of course, it comes with the flush door handle, things that we have seen on EVs, and the side skirts right here that actually opens up all the way so you don't have to worry about getting your pants dirty when getting in and out of the car. But also, EV9 has managed to get this crazy clearance despite the batteries. And over here, this is the wheel and we get the 21 inch wheels with this car. You can see the opposites united. The design language of Gia brand is portrayed on the wheels as well. Like the EV6, EV9 sits on Hyundai Group's excellent eGMP platform. As such, it will be capable of ultra-fast charging thanks to its 800-volt architecture. Also like EV6, it will be offered with single-motor rest-wheel drive setup or dual-motor all-wheel drive with the latter targeting a 0-62 to 62 time of around 5 seconds. While we don't have any hard numbers on range or battery capacity just yet, we expect EV9 to be available with the largest size of battery we've seen on an eGMP car yet to enable a real-world range in the high 200s. Let me show you how big, gigantic, I mean just look at the trunk opening up. And this is the space that we get. Of course, we got some little bit of a boot space underneath as well, right here. And we can fully fold and unfold the third row seats and we can fold automatically the second row seats. Over here, there's also 220 volts. And of course, it, this will change accordingly to the UK market. And you can use the V2L vehicle to load system all right up of here. And you can, of course, comes with the auto door, auto flush door right here with a tap of a button and the taillight 
let me zoom in the, on the taillight. I can't stress enough. There is the three-way directional taillights right here. And also, if you see them lit up during the nighttime, stretching both left and right, I mean, you can see for certain that this is Kia EV9. This clear parts are the brakes. This will light up super bright with the brakes on. And of course, with the third brake light that will light up all the way again everybody on the street will be able to notice you so don't you worry about that coming down this way this is the turn signal of course just look at this this is bigger than my size of my palm that's the size of a turn signal that is the reverse light and good old reflector light there is no exhaust tip it's just clear and also the bottom portion here there isn't necessarily a diffuser however the finish here is just so sleek and clean and let me show you the front of EV9 as well just standing in front of the bonnet I can already feel that this car is just mess oh it just goes up like so okay this is larger than that of the EV6 so you can now store more than just the charging cables unlike the predecessors or EV6s the EV9 is certainly a striking piece of design, maybe even the best looking Ghia ever, but it's inside the car where the magic happens. And to show you what I mean, we need to begin with the back seats. Ladies and gentlemen, we finally get the swivel seat on the second row seat. And I was actually inside one with my colleague and actually had like this some meeting room type of a feel to it. And just so you know, the swivel seats, it's actually located with the hinge here and just pull it at. And so you need some space to swivel the seat. So push the seat back and forward like this. Use the lever here and swivel your seats so it's just like that and wait for this this is my favorite by far just look at this i am sitting inside a second row seat with my door open park your car next to an ocean side and just enjoy the ocean you have the entire ocean to yourself like this or forced or wherever you go a park absolutely love it brilliant job and just look how massive this headroom is you have this ac controller for the third row seats as well which you can control light right here which is also full ac the lights the dome lights the read the book lights it's all here and comes with automated seat where you can tilt your third row just like this and don't forget about this gigantic quarter glass you now really have a view on the third row seat as well it doesn't feel all that stuffy at, at all and the second row window would go down gigantic and i don't have it on here but ev9 is also available with the sunroof a panoramic sunroof starting on the second row seat And let me get started with the steering wheel. This is the brand new design that Kia has introduced. So this is a completely different steering wheel from that of the EV6. Everything that is associated with the HDA and ADOS are put on the left column. You can control the distance with the car on the front. If you have been driving Kia before, you'll get used to this in a heartbeat. And same goes for the right column, where there is the phone related, audio related, things on the right side good old pedal shifters here where you can reach with uh, within your finger and the lights and the wipers but this look at this one this is the gear selector now the shifter from the good old rotary type that we have seen on ev6s it has moved up to here and not it's not just for the gear selector only but there is also this ev start on and off button here so things that were here before is now completely moved up to either the steering wheel or the infotainment system on top with that they could get more space here and has utilized it turned it into gigantic cup holders and probably this thought slot most ideally for a smartphone I knew it <laughs> so this is a must this is the first thing you take out when you hop in the car if not me so i'll definitely make this useful speaking of the smartphones it comes with the wireless charging system here and you just lay your smartphone there it also has the auto hold the parking alarm and assist just the good old infotainment system that we are all used to let me point this out right here so this is the only physical button i see on this portion 
the temperature, you can increase it and decrease it, and the fan level, of course, the hazard lights, and wow, this is the volume key. I mean, we've seen this rolling tie before, but nothing like this. It's in the middle of the center fascia, and you can control the volume, and Honestly, this is one of the most frequently used buttons for me. The other one over here, you can choose the mo modes and the temperature for the passenger seat. Everything else is now integrated into this infotainment system. And this is supported with the OTA over the air service. So you will have the most updated service wherever you go. You don't need to visit a dealership for that. The car will update it for you. So. You can see just the good old drive modes, uh, everything that is related with the uh, cars and such. You can customize, utilize, just play around for a few times and you'll find it in a heartbeat. But look at this, come this way and look at this. Oh my God. I mean, the thing is, this actually goes away when you shut the car off and also tap on this one. It gives me this haptic feedback and loud and clear, strong and clear. So even when you are driving, you're not looking at it, you know that you've touched the right button and it just moves smoothly like that. And again, my favorite part is that it just goes away when the car is shut off. Just like the star map signature that we have seen on the front of the car as well. When the cars are turned off, you see nothing there with the front bumper, just the lights on the outside. But when you have the lights on, that starlight comes up and for the record we'll be seeing that starlight in all future evs to come going back to the screen and the infotainment system i mean we have seen a lot of dual screens on other cars and also the cars before ev9 ev6 but do you see something different here there is the ac controller right in the middle and it's got the fancy graphics too you can control everything about the ac here i think that is like the second most frequently touched button other than the steering wheel inside the car while driving so i didn't really like that switching around navigation and also the ac system before but now it's moved up to here what a great brilliant job i think a lot of people are going to love it to me, the EV9 looks like being a smash hit for Kia brand. With its striking design and premium, spacious interior, it is further proof of just how far Kia has come in recent years. And with so few 7-seat EVs to contend with, I expect it to dominate the segment when it arrives later this year. Let us know your thoughts on Kia's new flagship in comments. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have been, Thank you for watching.